Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back Ross Automotive. Put a little bit of charge on this battery, let's see what we got here. Uh, has it been sitting over here? Hyundai. Can't see it. Um, Uh, 2013 Hyundai Elantra and that's one that's got a 1.8 liter all right so that being said I'm gonna go straight to the engine because that's what it's here for uh, we've got a P0335 P0304 P0301 Zero 01, misfire on solar number one. Zero 04, or 304, misfire on cylinder number four. However, the 335 crankshaft position sensor A circuit, that is the one that we're going to go after. Anytime there is a crankshaft sensor code, that's what we're going to address first. Anyway, interruption, what? There's another, there's another big interruption. What? 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 <coughs> Good God. There's another big interruption. Say hi. Hi. Get down. So let's see what the, uh, let's see what the tool says. Let's see. Diagnose. What we got here? I literally never, never seen that. Uh, didn't find any related bulletins, so there's no, oh, okay, I see what that's doing. Uh, top repair for 0335 is replaced crankshaft position sensor. We've done this like uh, 1,500 times, you know, that's what that tool is actually displaying. Code specific scanner data. I guess that's the, uh, that's the part of the, the AI Zeus. Let me get that, I don't know what he's got. Damn not hit finds everything in the floor. Um, so, code specific functional tests and reset procedures. We get down. No. Guided component test meter. So, I'm not. This is supposed to give you PIDs that are probably irrelevant, but anyway, I don't know that. Uh, I'm sure that is all got value somewhere if you don't know what you're looking for, but anyhow, we'll. We'll do this a different here. You know I don't do a lot of technical videos. And besides that, I've been asked that question, you know, about technical videos and all that good stuff. That's, that's fine. Um, oh, yeah, there's a whole whole host. I don't know what that flag means. I guess that's that's supposed to be a relevant thing. I don't know. I guess I better better do some research on what all that's supposed to be. But anyway, uh, uh, back to that original comment. You know, I've been asked why I don't do more technical videos. That's fine. But... The problem with technical videos is I'm trying to address the general public, and the general public is not going to have these tools. It's just that simple. I mean, some of you may, you know, I'm not saying that that as a general rule, but for the most part, I think that people that watch this, this these kind of videos here, you know, they're more interested in in real uh, seeing a real fix rather than uh, long drawn out diagnostic that they are unable to do anyway. So let's see if I can uh, come up with something maybe that we can use, maybe a, maybe something that guides us. Um, all right, let me do some thinking here and uh, pause the camera for just a second. Now I know there's uh, quite a quite a few uh, Snap-on haters out there, uh, but the tool does have value. I mean, the tool is pretty dependable as far as scan tool is concerned. And also, uh, what I like about it, uh, the guided component tests they give you a lot of information. Uh, you know, not. Not so much for, for how to do something, but it gives you the information of uh, operation, location, best test location at two pin connector located at the front left of the engine block. Here it says component location. The CKP sensor is mounted on the front left of the engine block near the engine oil filter. Now see, that alone right there saves me from having to go anywhere else 
you know, and look stuff up. I got it right there in front of my face. I know exactly where this thing is mounted now. Well, not exactly, but if I lift it up and I find the oil filter, I'm gonna find this crank sensor. Pause you back up. I don't wanna get, get it too hot, but here's the engine idling. It's stumbling, and let me show you something about your uh, about your number one and number four misfire, if I'm right. Number one. Number four. Now. Nothing on number four. Absolutely nothing. So, first two things that I'm gonna check is my coils because they're closest to me, but we're gonna address the crankshaft position sensor. So let's have a look at all that. Honestly, I was expecting something a little bit different, but seen it before. 10 millimeter, ah, hit it, screw. Darn, that thing was in there. So I'm gonna pull this coil pack. Let me pause you up. Videos get too long. Oh, let's play with it a little bit. I understand this is still marginally high tech. So I got the coil plugged in. I used my scope extensions, spark plug wires, and really a simple spark tester. All right, they make spark testers that can detect coils. You're probably not gonna go buy that. But anyway, let's, let's play. Okay, so that, I didn't see anything in my life. Pause you up. So that's probably the part where a lot of people say, well, coil is bad, we're gonna replace it. Well, that's fine. And odds are, you're probably right. That coil might be bad. And that, that really is what it is. But let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look at this coil right here versus that coil. Well, it really doesn't matter which, which one you pull or, or what not have you. Go ahead and plug this back in. Same with this one right here. I'll plug it back in. Start the vehicle back up. See what we see. Zeus, get out of that. Nosy dog. See what we see here. <laughs> All right, we'll have to redo that one. There's either something wrong with my little spark tester here. Possibility, so redo that test. Anyway, listen to this. All right, so I was going to show you on a spark test, so that was, that was a fail. <laughs> Oh, my little spark tester is not good. Or they got it extremely insulated, one of the two. Oh, Lordy. All right, anyway, you heard the popping. I'm sure the camera picked that up. It was popping pretty good. Put that coil back in there. Get, get this one here hooked up. Easier to do it with the wire. So, let's see if we got... Again, I'm going to lift up on this. Well, 
result is the same. <laughs> I can't believe my little tester is, is bad, but anyway. Uh, Uh, we've proven two things here. So we've proven for one, we've proven that uh, the coil of number one is not bad. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we've proven actually that the, the power feed, that the control to the coil is actually there because we've taken another coil and put it in its place. So is this coil bad? I would assume so. Now, let's do a little bit more playing. Now we're going to do this because we can. Engine running smooth as silk. <laughs> so, no more vibration. Running smooth, all that good stuff. That's the old coil. That's a fourth coil. Matter of fact, that's off of F. F-150 pickup. How am I able to achieve that? Well, it's just a two-wire design. I use the proper plug-ins. These test leads that I got, you've seen me use them before. And I just used a fourth coil that I had laying around. Uh, coil driver is built into the module in this case here, so two wire, that's just uh, two, well, just two wires, what it is. So, very easy to, uh, to check. So, well, that almost concludes that, uh, that video. Like I said, we've got a coil tested. Now, got a bad coil for sure but what I don't know is uh, how we ended up with a crankshaft correlation it might have been because of the shaking I don't know we're gonna go investigate the plug I do want to make sure that there is no issues with the plug and uh, see if we can well see what we can see on the scan tool actually I know a lot of you guys don't, don't like me uh, conversating like this a lot but uh, Something, some people are here to learn something, and uh, that's the whole purpose of these videos. I know that they're long and draw it out. I can shorten it up uh, quite a bit, but that's not at all the point that we're trying to make here. So you just, as I said time and time again, you just have to get over it. Did I just drop a bolt? Shoot. There it is. Barely snug them up. Now we'll keep that proved up. And by the way, there is options on these tools, obviously, to do more than than what I showed here. But the, like I said, again, the point is, uh, odds are you don't have that tool. So purrs like a kitten. Here is one such a here is one such a tool. That's the if it works, that is. The man failed. Well, whatever. Uh, I thought it was a coil test, and I may have been wrong on that. Oh, that's key on only. Sorry about that. But anyway, I guess I should read before I do stuff like that. But anyway, there's the options to, to check stuff. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, we, we we can do that, but that's not something that you can do anyhow. Oh, you ran out of dog.
second. Give you a little shot at this. Right there is the uh, crankshaft position sensor, two wire. It's a red with a black stripe and a green with a black stripe, I think. So uh, that's the wire right here. That one right there. That's the wire and this, this top right here, that's the plug for it. No, that can actually be, re uh, we could reach that from the top, but as far as, you know, what Snap-on was telling us about the location, uh, uh, spot on. Spot on, they were correct. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna end the video right here. Uh, that connector is plugged in, I suspect that, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that, hang on. I'll just show you real quick. I'll add that in there, just so, so you know. That is, that is the, Worth my pointing device. That's the sink notch that appears every now and then. I'm sure the camera can see that. Yeah, you got it. That's the sink notch that appears. I guess that trigger and all that good stuff, but I, I really don't feel like it. You know, we can check that for a little bit of abnormality in the signal, but as far as, you know, as far as everything goes, that's pretty even, pretty good looking signal. I did want to check it because I, I was a little, still a little bit worried about Something being wrong with the plug. I didn't touch anything. You know, I carefully back probed it. That's all I did. I didn't touch the plug yet. I wanted to see uh, it running just like that. And there you go. Now I will end the video. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, comments. Please leave comments. Tell me what you want to see. You know, negative comments, keep them to yourself. Just kidding. You can post them too. Uh, so I'm out. We'll see you on the next one.